Hi there, this is Eric Miller, field agronomist with Pioneer here in East Central Indiana. I want to talk a little bit today about drought stress in our corn crop. Uh, after a very challenging 2019 planting season, a sporadic rainfall through the month of July has resulted in a lot of drought stress corn crop throughout the state. Some areas of the state have received less than one half inch of rain throughout the month of July. This limited precipitation, along with high temperatures, have resulted in leaf rolling. Leaf rolling, along with stomato closure, are a corn plant's response to reduce water use, also known as transpiration, in these water-limiting environments. So how much water does our corn crop need each day? Corn V12 and smaller needs less than two-tenths of water each day, or a little over one inch per week. V8 to V12 corn coincides with the growth stage of our June planting window. Our corn planted in May is beginning to pollinate and requires a third of an inch of water each day or over two inches of water per week. The yield impact on corn is much higher for corn during pollination. The yield impact on drought stress corn is highest during pollination and continues throughout grain fill but much less for corn in early vegetative growth stages. Even though ground conditions have been dry, field variability with leaf rolling is still noticeable. It is important to get out in the field and dig roots to find what the primary cause of the leaf rolling might be. In this example, you can see a very small and narrow root system due to planting in wet conditions. As always, if you have more questions about drought stress in corn, contact your Pioneer sales representative or Pioneer agronomist to learn more. Thanks for listening. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.